Bow the Brave by Bethan Wolven. Alpine Kingdom. There's home, me, my stinky brothers. Horrid Forest Monsters, Monsters, Lake of Mystery, Scary Cave Beasts, Peaks of Peril, Slimy Sea Monsters in the Sea of Secrets. Bo the Brave. Bo lived with her older brothers, Eric and Ivar, in a land of mountains and forests. Eric and Ivar were hunting hunters, and one day they set off on a quest to catch a monster. Please, can I come with you? I want to catch a monster too, begged Bo. You must stay home, said Ivar. Besides, Eric sneered, you're far too little. Bo went to her room and sulked. I'm not too little, she thought. I'm smart and brave and strong. And so Bo crept out of the castle to catch a monster on her own. Deep in the forest, Bo caught a glimpse of a strange creature. Beware, you horrid monster. I'm Bo the Brave, she shouted, and she quickly drew an arrow and aimed. Get ready to be got. Me? A monster? Certainly not, the creature replied. I'm the griffin. Now lower your bow. I mean you no harm. Bo was suspicious. The griffin looked like a monster. You seem lost. Can I help you find your way? He asked politely. Hmm, he is far too helpful to be a monster, thought Bo. So she told the griffin about her quest. I heard the sea is full of monsters, the griffin said, and they set off to find one. So a griffin is the head of an eagle and the body of a lion. It wasn't long before they spotted another strange creature. Beware, you slimy monster, I'm Bo the Brave. Bo stretched out to capture the beast beneath the waves. Get ready to be, but she leaned over too far and toppled overboard. You simply must learn to swim, the sea creature bellowed, plucking Bo from the waves. And me, a monster, don't be ridiculous. I am the Kraken, I mean you no harm. Bo was suspicious. The Kraken looked like a monster and smelled like a monster, but a true monster would not have saved her. She is far too nice to be a monster, thought Bo. So Bo told the Kraken about her quest. I heard that monsters live in caves, the Kraken said, and they set off to find one. Well, now, this creature looked like a monster, and it smelled like a monster, and goodness, it certainly sounded like a scary monster. Roar! That wasn't a good roar. I'm sure you can do better. As Bo crept closer, she noticed something odd. Instead of being angry, the creature was crying. I'm sorry, said Bo. I didn't mean to upset you. I thought you were a monster. No. I'm just a dragon, the deep voice replied, and you haven't upset me. My poor baby was stolen, and I can't find him anywhere. She is far too caring to be a monster, thought Bo. I can help. I'm Bo the Brave, and I think I know just where we can find your baby. Bo and her new friend swooped off to look for the dragon's baby. My baby must be over there, cried the dragon. He always gets fiery when he's scared. And so they headed up toward the burning castle. As they landed, Bo spotted her brothers, Eric and Ivar. They didn't look or smell or sound like monsters, but they were certainly acting like monsters. Beware, you nasty beast, shouted Bo. I'm Bo the Brave. Get ready to be got. And with that, she threw water over the flames and her monstrous brothers. Let that baby dragon go, yelled Bo. These creatures are helpful and nice and caring. We shouldn't be hunting them. Eric and Ivar were so relieved not to have been eaten that they agreed never to go monster hunting again. And from then on, Bo loved roaming the land and learning about all the amazing creatures she came across, with the help of her brothers, of course, because Bo wasn't too little. She was smart, she was strong, she was Bo the Brave.
Look, monster mite. She crossed off stinky brothers. The griffin instead of horrid forest monsters. The kraken instead of slimy sea monsters. Me, dragons instead of scary cave beasts.